As with many DMET cases, we begin the surgery by creating a paracentesis in three quadrants. We then fill the anterior chamber with air to help with visualization. Using a reverse Sinsky, we make a decimanorexis that is slightly smaller than one that is made in conventional DMEC, being careful not to deeply score the posterior stroma. It is then used to strip the decime membrane endothelial complex. As you can see, the steps to quarter DMAC prior to graft insertion are similar to those of conventional DMAC. The aim of quarter DMAC is to widen the donor pool so that four eyes can be treated with one donor endothelium. These grafts may also, in theory, reduce the risk of allograft reaction and rejection by reducing the antigenic load delivered to each patient. Be sure to remove all endothelial and decimate membrane remnants to promote graft adherence, considering the rate of graft attachment is noted to be higher in quarter DMEC. Just before graft insertion, a fluid air exchange is performed and the anterior chamber is shallowed. The graft is slowly injected, being careful not to overpressurize the anterior chamber. The AC is again shallowed to prepare for graft unfolding. The smaller graft responds more rapidly to intracameral bursts of BSS. Also, make sure to remove any bubbles from the anterior chamber as they will interfere with graft manipulation. Because of its small size, a quarter DMET graft may make an anterior chamber seem deeper than it really is, making graft unfolding slightly more difficult. When first performing quarter DMEC, it may be helpful to select an eye with a lightly colored iris and a shallow anterior chamber. Positioning the graft near the angle where the anterior chamber is shallower can make graft unfolding easier. After checking graft orientation using Matsuri sign, an air bubble between the graft and the posterior stroma can be used to assist in graft unfolding as well. After the graft is unfolded and properly centered, an air bubble can be placed behind the graft to lift it to the posterior surface of the recipient cornea. The case is concluded following near-complete airfill and when appropriate pressure is achieved.